Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm legal guardian Chan. Thank you for saying that. I needed to know Clarify that. Clarify for them. Thank you. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for polyps. I think I have a polyp. What's a polyp? But you know what? It'll make you a better artist. It's like Look when you're Adele. limp nodes or whatever. Yeah, it's when you do vocal damage because you're too talented. It's like writer's block for your voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Something's wrong with my voice and I don't know what it is. And That's I, okay. I mean, we have a couple notes about what we disliked about your voice. In the oh, okay. Yeah. No, but I, I not think you to hit be, all your notes though. Thank you so much. <laughs> not to be vulnerable on think. Main, but I think something's really wrong with my voice. And I haven't been able to like sing or talk without it hurting. Okay, but have you for been like a, vocal a couple rest? of weeks? Yeah, I've been doing vocal rest. When? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I talked to you all those days and I heard your voice. No, you didn't. Actually, you did. You're LOL. bad at vocal rest. LOL, that you never call me unless I'm on vocal. Like, I need to not be talking. I was laughing because you called me so many times. You're torturing her. So it's my fault. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. It's my fault. No, no, no. I'm okay. just saying LOL. Anyways. Because of that, because I'm scared, I did something that I haven't done in years, uh -oh. which is got medical insurance, so I can go to the doctor and You got medical out. insurance? How yeah. did you get past all of those issues? What do you mean? Like, just your general health. Like, how, they said okay? Now, we What's actually, your voice sounded incredible when we did, we did our IMHO yeah. live show. Oh, yeah. IMHO the show mm -hmm. live. Mm -hmm. It was a hit. At the Newport hit. Theater, right next to Wrigleyville. It was I on, on it. a Cubs game day. <gasps> Will you yeah, tell what happened tough. on the way there? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay. Now, just know that in my heart, I care for people, but I do need you to know, I did bully a woman who I do believe was actively dying on our way there. Now, in my defense, I didn't know she was actively dying until I was about halfway through my sentence of, what the fuck are you doing, please move. It was just, it was an issue where, you know, Chicago small street. It was a narrow street. Narrow yeah. street. And Cars it was parked on each Cubs side. traffic, and so it was just a lot. And she didn't feel safe squeezing through, although she had plenty of room. Oh, and there was like a hundred Cubs fans on the sidewalk watching this and screaming and like, move, bitch, that kind of stuff. And so I was like, you know what? I'm in drag right now. Like, I, I'm gonna go up and be the pretty woman that yells at her. And then she'll be like, oh, well, she was pretty, so it's, it's okay. So I open the door and I'm like, hey, hey, can you like move up? And then she rolls her window down. She looked like a, a ghost, okay? She looked like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. If Mr. <laughs> Burns were haunting the woman's car, yes. <laughs> yeah. She did look like she had, had seen better days and those days were around the 1830s. I immediately regretted my decision to yell. Did I stop though? No, because I believe in myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Finally, just some drunk guy from the Cubs game ended up running out into the street and directing traffic so that she could get by. <laughs> it was a great start to the night mm -hmm. because I do believe I was the last person to see her alive. God. There's got to be an option for the train to skip the Addison stop. Especially yeah. during Cubs season. Or just an eject button for all the Cubs fans. Like, okay, we're we're not going to stop for Addison, but here's a button. Boom. And then they all fly out and they go, mm. sweet. I think they should move Wrigley Field into the middle of Lake Michigan, creating jobs for new boatsmen to row the Cubs fans out, oh, clearing up the red line. They got hit real hard by the pandemic. I, I bet it'll stop economy. people from getting so drunk because now when they fall down, they'll fall into water and they'll drown. And when I run for office in, well, when I run by the office, uh, when I take up running, I'll tell them that. You know what straight men love saying? Well, it's not the Windy City because of the wind. It's mm, the Windy politics. The politics. And then they talk to you about Rahm Emanuel. I don't want to hear it. You know he's missing one of his fingers? Or part of one of his fingers? Hmm? Well, because the Windy City, it took one away. Because <laughs> you know they don't call it, it the... Yeah, it was a rat. It was a rat. Also, just to put it out there, we want to thank everyone who came to <sighs> IMHO The Show Live. We had people come all the way from Shreveport, Port, Louisiana, we have people yes. from Dallas, Texas, we have New York City, mm -hmm. we had Chicago, we have the suburbs of Chicago, we had some other suburbs of Chicago, we had Indiana, which is near Chicago, mm -hmm. crazy. It was incredible, thank you Insane. so much for coming. And, and bringing us presents, that was yes. the best part. So thank you Newport, thank you Bazooka Joe, Yeah. For yes, helping thank us you, put Eva up the show. Thank you Eva, and thank everyone so that came, it was a, it was a really, 
It was super duper it fun. It was so, so fun being on stage And with it was your sister. birthday. Thank you for bringing oh it up. We've gosh. been talking for so long. <laughs> and, yes. Oh my God. And we pulled on a little cookie cake, missing a little slice because you got a little excited. Well, and so I, when I walked in the room, there was cookie cake. And I thought, well, do I have to wait? At the cookie for you? Yeah. yeah Not on your birthday. You. you do whatever you want. I did whatever I like. I had such an incredible birthday. Thank you, ladies. Mm. Y'all gave me such meaningful, beautiful, lovely presents. Oh, I haven't I haven't pulled my card yet. <gasps> we'll talk we'll talk through that. She bought me Golden Girls tarot cards. Yes. Which works because we are doing a Golden Girls show mm -hmm. this August. Sold yes. out. But we might oh, post yeah, some we don't have to put it online. Never now. mind. We're not doing anything. But we'll post videos online of yeah, that. Yeah, it'll be fun. We'll be old ladies. Yeah. People will be eating around us. So thank you for that. And then Alexis, what was the bakery that you went to? Oh, Sugar Realm Bakery, right here in Chicago in Edgewater. They make these amazing, immaculate, gorgeous cookies. They made JB cookie. They made yeah. IMHL pattern cookie. Mm -hmm. They made Princess Diana cookies. They made Murder, She Wrote cookies. I was blown away. Did you like them? Did you taste any of them? Yes, and like, they're really good. good. They taste good. And did I eat them all for breakfast the next day? No. Mm -hmm. Did I eat them all for breakfast the next couple days? Possibly. That's with well within your rights. Possibly. One was green tea, so that was good for mm. you. We, yeah, I knew that. I was looking for that one. I picked that one last, so I did have to eat the other ones first. But I had a wonderful birthday, and can I just say this? I'm sorry to, to make it about me, because you know, as a Leo, we don't like to do that, but Everyone, all of our patrons, all of our IMHO loves on the internet just made me feel so special. Paula wrote me a fucking song. Oh yeah. my God. And the Phoebe Bridges. sang it. Of drag, yeah. Right? I went over all the, the bridges to the Phoebes <laughs> and I saw them and I said, you're out of a job. That's how Phoebe Bridgers works, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just thank you so much. And she organized where everyone could write little messages. And then there was so much art. Like, Milena had art. Sorry, uh, they... Oh, sorry. Uh, you don't have to apologize. Organized. Do you feel good about that? Yeah. Sorry, organized <laughs> this thing where a, a bunch of people bought me a cameo from a cow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a cameo from a cow. Because you love cows because they play with balls. They play with balls. Well, and I heard in the cameo that this particular cow was too old to play with balls because cows, they grow up. Okay, unlike men. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> And just, this cow's idea of having fun is just relaxing in the sun. <laughs> so cute. I love that when I brought oh, that cow. up, it's like, did you see this? And you were like, Oh, you mean the cow that just likes to have fun in the it's sun? Just like fun in the sun. <laughs> yeah. So cute. I like that. Thank you for saying that. So I just want to thank everyone for all the amazing things. If I didn't get to your message, I tried my best, but I have, oh my God, so much anxiety, you know, because uh, there's so many cows in need of balls. Mm -hmm. All those unread messages. Just know that that, that was, you know, your birthday present to me mm -hmm. was allowing me to not read those messages. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. But it was just so special. And I cannot wait until the next big birthday, which is my birthday again next July. Because y'all don't do birthdays, right? Because you're Jehovah's Witness. I don't, I don't even exist. No, no, no. Yeah. But you look cute wherever you are. Wait, what? I have a question. Do you know how they do Christmas in July? No. Do you do, like, a birthday in September? Or December. Wait, which, which is the Do <laughs> you know what Christmas is? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. See, if you lose Jesus, you Christmas lose Christmas and July, birthdays in September. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't thinking about... She doesn't know when Jesus <clears throat> was born. Wait, it's... there was a day that did happen in September that we cannot forget. And this year, we won't forget because it's the 20th anniversary. <gasps> it is. Never forget. Oh. I did actually talk about September 11th a lot during our live show. <laughs> and I would yeah. say I'm sorry about it. But I'm... You know what it was? Because the first show, I started doing it and I got a couple laughs and then the more I talked about September 11th the quieter they got mm -hmm. so I was like well now that's all I want to talk about I heard a couple mm, mm. Mm -hmm. I heard a couple people going we have to think about this they forgot about the <laughs> Pentagon a lot of people don't even talk about it no. and we have to talk about it it changed America it did it changed well and the way we fly so Alexis what's this huh money oh because the runway for the All Star 6 that we're doing was goth and then, oh my God. so I wanted to wear a black dress, and then this one had bunnies on it. And then I remembered this this book, Bunnicula, which is like a bunny, but Dracula. So that's what I am. Oh. Bunnicula. Bunnicula. Did you read that one? Mm-mm. No, because I don't believe in bunnies. It was a banned book in Texas. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I read Bunangel. 
<laughs> Judged by an angel. Judged by an angel, yeah. sorry. And that worked out. That was good. That mm -hmm. ended up being really good. Yeah. What's your look inspired? I'm gothic cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> You're Dylan. I'm Dylan Bergasa. You're Dylan. Our yeah, editor. You're Dylan Bergasa. Darby. You edit shit. We mean our editor. Our editor in chief. I wish. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, if it's yours now. Take it on. Actually, that'd be Surrender amazing it. for Actually, that would be me? such a thank great you gift. So yeah, much. Dylan thank will be you. editing the rest thank of it. That'd be so nice. Mm -hmm. Darby, tell us about your look. Oh, thank you, internet. I got this dress. It's about clouds being sad that they have to let go of their blood. I love this. Because, you know, raindrops are, are, it's a cloud's blood. But the best part, right down here, the flowers that are happy to receive it. I know, you can't see it because they're green, and the green screen will cancel it out. So, we co we're coming off of Ginger Minge's high, right? She won, she, she won a million dollars. Oh, she won $30,000. Oh my god. Which is like, in today's money, is a mm -hmm. million. She gave like 2500 to her teammates. To Jan. Please she said, on Jan. your way out. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm just <gasps> totally, absolutely joking. I'm Spoiling absolutely joking. it. I know. So, we do find out, though, how interesting, what a twist. We do find out that the the vote that all the ladies put in was a tie between Jan and Scarlett. Mm -hmm. Huh. Hmm. Again, I know we say this a lot. This show is meant to tear her down. Jim, Jim, Jim. Just inch yeah. by oh, yes. inch, right? Yeah. yeah. Trying to break someone's spirit. Which is fun to watch for a while, but I think we're many episodes in, and now I'm just ready for her to break free, okay? Have you heard of Ariana Grande? I love that song. Yes, she does that. If you want it, I love boobs didn't move at all. Do you think they could tell? Jan Oof. is stressed. Stressed? Very stressed. I'm beyond that as a storyline, though, right? Like, you're, I'm just kind of like, okay, another Jan upset that the show hates her so much. Yeah. So then we move on to the next day and we find out, dun dun dun, we're doing a Ryan Murphy acting challenge. Acting challenge. Which, isn't there a hot Olympian named Ryan Murphy right there now? There is, yeah. Oh, Ooh. that's what's going around. Ooh. That's why the yeah. The Ooh. Olympics are Olympics. happening. Yeah. Sonny Lee. Sonny Lee and Simone, Simone Biles. Biles. Take care of yourself. We Take care of yourself. Yes. Take care of yourself. Very choice here. Well, we're Tom pro choice for for gymnastics. for gymnastics. When it comes to your body, let's pray about it. Kristen tagged me on Twitter. I guess Darby was trending on Twitter. Cause I guess Congrats. like with Olympics, it was like Olympics trending term Darby. I did not have the time or just mental health. We all have mental health to look into it at that moment. But I'm Olympian is what I'm saying. You are very limber. You like to do it for sport. Go for the gold, go for God, give him the glory. Is that the song they sing at the beginning of the Olympics? Song? It's not a RuPaul song, but she, oh, she'd do so good at it. Go for the gold. Bring back my gold. Ooh. Peanut butter gold. Bring Peanut back butter my gold. gold. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> that's that's perfect. perfect. Do y'all watch American Horror Story? Yeah. I have a temp. Which one's your fave? Which one, which one do you like? I mean, they all fall apart at episode four. So, which one do I like the first part of? Coven. Coven is cute. I, they all you got a coven wig. You're oh, covening. You're covening. I'm covening. You're covening. Bunny coven. Have you seen there's a new spinoff series called American Horror Stories? And they're kind of like takeoffs of the season. So like the first two are about oh, Murder Hulu. House. On Hulu. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, the anthologies. next one is about, I don't know how it's connected really, but it's. The first one is with Connie Britton, who I adore. Are y'all watching yes. White Lotus? Yes. No, I'm not. You have to watch it. It's on my Instagram. Have you heard about it? I've seen people tweet about it. It's oh really my good. God. <laughs> yeah, the, it's the first about episode, this... dick and balls. <gasps> oh, yeah. I love dick and balls. <laughs> you know, I met I Steve Zahn once at a restaurant after a Steppenwolf show, and he did not show me his dick nor his balls. So I was finally, I was happy to close our story. Did he show you his heart? By seeing. No, because I asked to see his dick and balls. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wonder if when he's getting sexy with his partners, he's like, it's time to for me to turn you Zon. Probably. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah. Or let's get Zon it. <laughs> I just <laughs> Have you seen Sahara? Or get this zilk out of me. <laughs> zilk? Get this zilk? <laughs> zilk. In front of me. Milk. <laughs> Get oh this gosh. zilk. I'm flushing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we did that. So you made me laugh so hard yesterday. We did something yesterday, top secret, we can't tell you about. But um, When can we tell them about that? I don't know, you know. Oh. Soon. 
right? It's, it's next, next week. week. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll see. It, it, rem- yeah. it rhymes with Zark at Zay's. Oh, yeah. Oh, can, can I say this? I, I guess, it, yeah. Because he's... <laughs> You said, I'm going to milk him. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. I was gonna, like, oh, he was cute. I'm going to drain him. I'm going to milk him. You said milk. milk. Oh, okay, milk I'm going to milk him. One exciting, very exciting part is we get a live Zoom call from yeah. Angela Bassett. Bassett. Shut up. I know. Are you okay? Okay. That human is perfection. Well, Talk yeah. about the Olympics. She's the Olympics of humans. Well, because she got a groove back and she's been unstoppable since. Yeah, the Queen Regent of Wakanda. I just love seeing people I love talk to celebrities via Zoom because it makes me feel like one day I'm going to get on a Zoom and that's going to happen to me. <gasps> Do y'all remember, what was that thing? Starts with a P. It was a live stream thing that people used to do on Twitter oh, many oh. years ago. Pan, what is it? It didn't Pandora? have to do with no. a submarine. Periscope. 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 Oh my God. Did you... Could you believe? Oh, I got on Periscope once when I was like wasted after a gig. Hi. You know who popped in? Fucking Kathy Griffin. My okay. Mom. Kathy Griffin pops what? in. She goes, hey, queen. And I look and I was like, is that Kathy? Wait. And I was like, oh my God, I love you. Boom. My battery died. Bye. If my battery hadn't died, none of the Trump stuff would have happened. You would have convinced. Oh my God, I could have stopped her. Anyway, so Angela Bassett, she says, keep doing you, ladies. Okay, I have to be honest, I don't remember. But she said something like that. She gives some really good advice for acting. (laughs) We find out that they are gonna have to American Horror Story, and so they have to pick these roles, and they write these roles with the girls in mind already. Like, the descriptions of the roles. Oh yeah, because they have those, how do they have those outfits ready? Yeah, they already kind of know. So, Ginger Minj was kind of written for the Jessica Lange role, and Sonique was the kind of hot, sexy fashion role. Kylie's like, I'm gonna do the Jessica Lang role. So Ginger Minj was like, don't worry, I paper rock scissored last time. Rock, paper, scissored, and it went really terrible. Let's do it again. So then she lost. Kylie gets the role. That's a big role. Would you want the biggest role in a scene? Whatever they write for me, Personally, I guess. <laughs> I'll take whatever they You'll just like, I mean, whatever says like Chan be in this. I mean, whatever yeah. production wants. I think, no, I would never want the lead role. I like taking like a, a side character and then just coming in and like knocking it out, of, being memorable. Are you describing your role here on IMHL? <laughs> no, but if the shoe fits. Um, Throw it at her. Would you want the main? Oh, no, I'd want to be at home watching. Did y'all not think it was odd when Michelle <gasps> stepped in and acted? Oh, yeah. That whole thing Teaching with them how to was do it. odd. Michelle odd. was, like, doing production of, like, I'm going to make everyone think Kylie's going to be bad. It was like, why can't you just be normal? She said, let me do it for you. Directors do not get out of their seat and give you a line reading. You can't give an actor a line reading. No, 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 That's no. Rude. Okay? Is this the one with... Who's the guest for this one? God, she was all over Twitter. Oh, this Emma week. Roberts. Emma Roberts. Yeah. Did you see that video of Emma Roberts at the beach? Oh, yeah. Being shy. <laughs> looking like, like yeah, so like a medical commercial. I, like someone a, tweeted a medical commercial. A medical commercial. A medicine like commercial. Kind. Like you know, like if you're nursing pregnant, maybe come pregnant. <laughs> She's just like brushing her ear behind you. And she did. Kind, she was brushing her ear like she might. Be someone pregnant. tweeted today Utica when RuPaul asked if she'd ever smoked weed, and then yes. that video of Emma. <laughs> We have Emma Roberts, of course. We're so excited she's there because she is related to Julie Roberts, and that is important. That's something we need is to remember. Is that real? Yeah, yeah she's, she's her niece. Aunt. She's Julie she's Roberts. Niece. I love that. Yeah. Her dad is the other Roberts, the other like actor Roberts. Who? Jason. Jason. Um, Jimmy. RuPaul walks out and she's in black because, ooh, spooky, spooky. The runway is emo. Gah. Gah. Uh, Don't mix them sorry. up. Sorry, that's my generation. Gah. What do they call them now? Are e-girls. I don't know. E-girls. E-girls. E-girls like e-cigarettes? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they're always, there's smoke coming out of them at all times. Goths? Yeah. Goth? Goth. 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 Gothic is... It's, the, it's, state it's, of, an, it's an it's aesthetic. It's an experience. It's a oh. state of mind. We have two episodes. We should probably move past whatever that was going to be. Up first, Ginger Minj. Uh, Ginger oh. Minj came out as a little... Puppet girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was like a haunted doll. A haunted little doll. I thought it was cute. Yeah. I thought it was weird. It was cute. It's weird. It's cute. It's yeah. weird. Mm-hmm. It's goth. The dress was beautiful. Yeah. And it does look like she's her entire family is gone. Like she lost them. She's oh, it's keeping like the back in the going. day when they would take pictures of them, but after they were dead. 
they would just prop them up and take pictures. <gasps> what? They used to do that. When cameras were new, Me. when people died before they got all rotted, before they got all rotted, they would rotted. they would they would put them together and take pictures of them. That's why if you ever see an old timey picture where the eyes are closed, okay, is that choking you up? And then we had Eureka O'Hara. Eureka looked great. I thought she looked her awesome. makeup was really cute. Oh yeah, she's I love that. Serving hair. something a little different. She always she, looks, she always looks way. good. She yeah. always looks good. The she does always, good. always. Let's talk about Chance. Look, Chance. Ooh, had a really cute cage around her shoulders. Ooh. Did you see that little coffin backpack? So oh, that was cute. That was just, really cute. She's a detail-oriented lady, mm -hmm. and she's she had so a goth, stunning. She had a gothic one in her season, too, didn't they do mm -hmm. like... And it was the smoke, the smoke came out or whatever. Yeah. She couldn't do that again because she'd already done it on TV once. Let's talk about Kylie's oh my God. Uh, head to toe. Oh, oh my God. Ensemble. Fuck me. Sexy. The red? In her eye with makeup, the red glasses with too. the with the red glasses, with the lining, uh, the red lining in her costume. I, I, love I loved it. how uh, Michelle called out that she put in the nude fishnets, but she stopped it right at the right. Like you can't even see she it. She sure did. I love that. She I love sure when people did. Think about those details. You love a fishnet. I love a fishnet. Yeah. Is that because of your religious upbringing and Jesus and the fish? Jesus and the fish. Uh, let's talk about Pandora's look. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something tickled Oh, you. she's a haunted old lady. What is she? <laughs> uh, she's a haunted old lady. What the hell is this? She's a bride. <laughs> she's a bride. Oh, she's a bride. Or no, she's uh, the wife at the... the she's what's an the, ottoman. Uh, what's the funeral? Funeral. Let's talk about Raja's look. Ooh, pants at a funeral. Really cute. Yes. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Oh, she can yeah. rock pants. I loved pants that it was like the, the brown with the black too. And I loved her like nude lip. I just thought, oh, I thought she looked incredible. Yeah. Raja, mm -hmm. you're r r amazing. I should think, I'll, I'll think about that. Amazing. Oh, the headpiece. Let's talk about Akiria Chanel Davenport. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. Another. Wow. I thought this was the best look. Yeah, the night by far. This was the show stopper. Looks wise, yeah. And let's talk about oh. uh, TKB volume loved obsessed yardage yards hat tool leg drama face and, and her face the whole time was like this walking emote. She was emoting. She looked like a cigarette that had just been put out. Ooh, I like that description. That imagery. Thank you. The Thank you. Those were the runway looks. Wow, so. Can't go wrong with goth. Looks cute. I love a dark goth yeah. look. Yeah. My favorite goth look for you is the, uh, I'm a gothic, uh, Christian girl, horny. Oh, horny you know, nun? Horny nun, horny nun. Yeah, That's... I love being a horny nun. I wore my horny nun outfit for the last brunch we did, mm -hmm. and I forgot that JB had chewed <laughs> part of the horny nun outfit because she does not like horny nuns. She thinks it's disrespectful to the Lord and all of his horny little <laughs> nuns. So to make it look, um... To make it look like not so nunnery, because otherwise it does look very nun. And people mm -hmm. are like, oh my God, is she a horny nun? JB was doing her part. Yeah. Sorry about that, horny nuns. Good girl of God. So the top of the week is Kylie Sonique Love oh for God. her role as Jessica Lane. Now, the whole thing about when they were rehearsing and filming the piece, it was made to look like Kylie was gonna do bad. And then it ended up her being the tops. Ooh. Now, if we take away the critiques and the production part, do am I am I mean for saying? Do we think that there was any difference from what sh we saw? Oh no, no no! I don't think you're mean for saying that. I I was also surprised. I liked the storyline aspect of it, but I think for me, for part of me, I thought Ginger killed it. I thought Eureka killed it. There were people who did better. It, from my perspective. What do you think? Um, Kylie was good though. I'm Kylie sure. was very believable in her role. Yeah, I was true. looking at Jessica Lane. Oh, yeah. I was okay. looking okay. at Jessica Lange. Yeah. Maybe it's, I'm mean? too close in age to the real Jessica Lang, so I, I was having a hard time. And I also just didn't think she was doing that bad of a job when they were critiquing her in the filming mm -hmm. of it, too. No. So I was like, I don't see a difference, but I also didn't see a problem with it in the first place. No. Yeah, the critique when, or the, the comment when they were on the runway, and Michelle was like, and we finally got there. We brought it out of you. And it, then Ross goes, just, no, I disagree. She brought it out of herself. Uh, I 
just like, what is this? All the judges circle jerking each other. <laughs> they bukkake for her. Yes. Which, like, typically I like no, to watch that. No, I disagree. They bukkake for her. Get up. Get up off of this thing, okay? <laughs> Get up off of this. Um, yeah, I so, but congratulations, Kylie. Like, her first yeah. win on Drag Race No, ever. we love, I mean, she deserves it. I didn't mean to yeah. seem disrespectful of I Kylie. I want her look awesome. She deserves like, it, and she's been killing it this whole time. Yeah. So mm -hmm. proud of her, so proud of her. But that does make the bottom two, sadly, really difficult to see. Akiria and Raja, mm -hmm. which, like, wow. Oh, yeah. Right. Akiria was an easy one, because I, I, I do think Akiria kind of, I feel like if they beat, the, what they were trying to do with Jan, they did with Akiria. They just beat her down and you could kind of see she wasn't fully yeah. giving. She wasn't giving. She wasn't giving. She wasn't giving. Nah, but because they the right beat thing. it out of sitting? her. She was sitting. She was sure. sitting. There are just certain people, Kylie included, and myself included, there are certain people whose voices just kind of stay in our heads. We think that we're speaking at this like crazy level, but in actuality, our voices are kind of monotone. I don't hear what y'all hear when I'm talking. But then when I watch the recording back, I'm like, oh yeah, I do sound kind of monotone. I think Akira is one of those people. I think she really has to push yeah. outside of herself. Oh, and you know what I was thinking about too with Raja? They were like, Raja, don't do that voice. But how many episodes ago, Ginger was doing a funny voice and they loved it. I liked Raja's weird voice. I thought it was fine. I mean, did they want him to do a character and act or did they want him to do impressions of Sarah? And that's what we said last What's week it? about the Pink Table Talk. We never know what they want. Do they want funny? Do they want serious? Do they want deep? Do they want, like, I, you never know. Mm -hmm. What do you want? I want to look at my TV and laugh. Mm. <laughs> I want to laugh. Oh, so you're watching yes. Seinfeld, okay. Yes. <laughs> hey, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a show about nothing. <laughs> so we find <laughs> out that Kylie's boobs are incredible. Yeah. They that stay in a shirt that was very small. God, they under cleavage. She looked incredible, incredible. And I would like to give her many tips of money, not of like boob tips. I don't have boob tips. Her boobs are incredible. But we find out that the lip sync assassin is Manila for is some Manila. reason. I mean, is Manila. Yeah. You know your favorite lip syncer. She's an assassin? Perhaps she has killed someone in the past. Sure. I don't know her full story. Sure. Okay, it's been a There's while since some we've demons seen in her. there, Maybe I'm that's sure. Why she likes the cops so much, because she killed someone and got <gasps> away with it. <laughs> Take that out. Take Keep that, that out. in? <laughs> no. <laughs> they bring her on. They're like, hey, we're going to bring you on because you deserve to be here. Haha, <laughs> LOL, JK. You're lip syncing against Kylie. Like, you, there's no reason for you to be here. She could have pulled a full Charlie Hydes and it would have been the exact same because Kylie was. When are we going to get Charlie Hydes as a lip sync assassin? <laughs> oh, might as well. I at this point. Not about <laughs> at this that. point. Clearly, Kylie is the winner and Kylie gets a $10,000 tip and. She gets like seven days and seven nights in an Italian luxury villa. villa? Are you kidding? That's amazing. I love that when they announced that, they immediately cut to Ginger, who, in my opinion, I think won. Needed it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she needed a getaway to Italy. Needed, yeah. Who doesn't need a getaway? I mean, she, well, she hasn't had good pizza in a while. Have you ever seen Under the Tuscan Sun? Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. That's a good one. You should watch that. Maybe when the weather turns and it's like a chilly day, you just want to stay inside. Watch that. Okay. Diane Lane, Sandra O, oh, and Sandra others. O. So we find out the lipstick that she picks is unfortunately Akira. Akira, which out of the bottom two, that makes the most sense. I agree. Raja's it's just sad. Solo. I'm just sad. No. I think yeah. Akira sure. is a legend. You know, For we sure. did say, or I was like, I mean, she's gonna win this. Season. We did say. We did no, say. you're right. Yeah. You two did. Yes. You two did. Yes. You're absolutely right. She was getting the Jan edit. Honestly, for her own mental health, we all have mental health, and for, for ours as viewers, sure. I didn't want to see her fight it anymore. And I'm kind of glad that right. she got to go and like... And that beautiful smile and how graceful she walked mm -hmm. to the back of that stage and, and she accepted her fate with grace. Hmm. What a professional. Mm -hmm. To smile through it. Smile through the pain. Smile through the pain. Right yes. smile through the pain. Yes. My mom's also a professional. When she was giving birth to me and my brother, she, I was told that she did smile the entire time. <laughs> Until she heard there was a second one because I was surprised and I came out and she was like, I didn't want a gay one. Like that. So we head into episode two. I'm sorry, seven. 
<laughs> Six. <laughs> the next episode. Episode two for us. Everyone was kind of on on board, right? Everyone yeah. was... Yeah, everyone voted for Kyria as well. We head into the next day. We find out that their challenge this time is that they get to record their own rup verse. It's a rap verse. Mm -hmm. They call them rup verses in the industry. Cool. To this song called... Show it? Up. Right? Isn't it called Show, show up. up? Yeah, it's oh, about like you. activism and showing up to the marches. Showing up and... to show off. Oh, no, showing up for change. Show I don't know, okay. I... Showing up in drag. Show... Yeah, sh a show, you know what, just show. But they have to pick teams. So they choose the winner of last week and the Which person in the bottom who survived. And so they, Raja, so they get to pick their own teams. And the last person picked slash not picked ever was Pandora. Oh, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That stings. That stings, Ooh. but you know what? It's on TV and it's like, well, at least you're getting picked last on TV and not in middle school. There's a kid that got picked last today and there wasn't even a camera crew there for him. And that kid, Ted Cruz. They have to write their verses. <laughs> they record. We get a new recording person, not like the person helping them, but the actual person sitting at the computer. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was so cute. He was, what was cute. His name? And Ginger was thirsting over him. Was it at Freddie? Oh yeah, because she said Freddie got fingered. <laughs> oh yeah, Freddie <laughs> did get fingered uh, consensually. Mm -hmm. The producer. What was his name again? His name is Leos. We've had him no, before. No, no, I love no, him. No. He's cute. He he. What is his name? He's like mm. a famous producer. So, Josh, Colby, Connor. Oh, it's something like it's something like Z Z Zales or something. Oh, he went to Zales. He went to Zales. No, what's his name? Corey. I guess well, it doesn't matter. Corby Trots is the way to go. Call six seven eight five zero zero zero. Did y'all have Corby Trots in Texas? No. Mm -mm. What's that? Oh. He's like an injury lawyer, so he always had those terrible commercials on. So we take her to the runway and we get, first of all, the guest judge is the Emmy Award winning costume designer for RuPaul's Drag Race. Z Zaldi. Zaldi. Oh, Zaldi. Say that same well, no, I didn't know what you were doing. I thought you were yawning. Zaldi. 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 Course, which I don't know what Zaldi's deal is. I don't know like if Zaldi's like busy or like what Zaldi's That's deal is. That's my designer, is, Zaldi. But they are very attractive I love to Zaldi. me. Oh, Not yeah, to me. Yeah. That was a very good stunning one. human being. Human being. Um, also, the gown that RuPaul was wearing. Oh my. Was I, that was I was in love. She looked good. Her makeup was really great too. I was only oh. looking at the gown because I loved how like fitted and then poofy. And shot out. And, I love, and it moved. I love that. Uh, yes. I lo Well, I love that structure that doesn't quite move and then it flows into fabric. That yeah. Does. I, I want to know how to do that. I think that's so interesting to see. So we get into the performance. We have the two teams that are on each side of the stage. Sorry. Yeah. Which I thought was... Kind of fun, kind of weird, but I liked it. I like when they enter. Because yeah. I because I was looking at I was I didn't know who I was supposed to look at. Yes. Do you agree with me? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> you, not agree you were so <laughs> affirming with that stare. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I yes. Look, yes that. I thought the performances were uh, I think the concept for like let's try to like uplift people is kinda corny to me. Like I don't like motivational speakers. I see what yeah. you're saying. It's like it's like if it's coming because you're forcing them to do it. What's motivational about that? I think it should come out of organic, like yeah, geez. it like was of also a, something that's happening, not just yeah. like yeah, we we'll do something that I experienced. But that was the thing too. Is that like okay, great, you're dressing up in drag, you're writing your own lyrics to entertain people on TV, and you're dancing around and being silly, but we wanted to. Is it deep? It wasn't. It's deep not deep. Enough. It wasn't. It's not a deep. What are we doing here? What is? It's like yeah, pink table happening? talk, but like worse because now there's like a song element and dance and like Jan's whole critique made no sense to me. Okay, great. We heard about your positivity, but where was the depth? You told her to encourage people, so she encouraged people. I don't understand. What do they understand. want? What do you want? They want her. They want Jan. They want her to head be tortured. To explode. They yeah. want her to. They want her to Boom. physically fall apart. Raja and Trinity killed it. They yes, were super Trinity fun. did. Yeah. Yes. I thought Ginger killed it. I thought Eureka did a great job. I thought Kylie was good. Pandora was horrifyingly bad. In a way that I connected to. I I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't rap. 
Can I say this about Pandora? I've been feeling it for a while, but especially this time, it feels like she doesn't really want to be there. I, I feel no like she's fight. Kind of, yeah, she keeps saying that she's shy, but I think she's to the point that I don't know that she believes. <gasps> like, look at even look at her body language. Anytime she talks, even in her talking, it's like this. It's like, what is it? Like head down, like. Oh. And they're trying to like cheer her up it's like, in the green room or it's the green like, room, the untucked. We loved her. She's iconic. Season two is iconic for Pandora. When we cut to like who actually got to stay, I was confused as to. I don't know that Pandora has shown that she actually gives a fuck. The runway is denim. No. No. <laughs> What's the yeah, actually. Oh, isn't it tropicalism? Tropicalism. Tropical. Believing in yourself tropically. Tropicana. Okay. Up first, we have Jan coming all the way from New Jersey. Giving us J-Lo. Kind of a J-Lo moment. Yeah. yeah. J-Lo jersey. She had this, and then she had that. She oh, did you see this? Cute. The breastplate she was... That. Yeah. I don't think she needed the breastplate. I don't either. Oh. I don't think so. It was so shiny. Up next, we had Pandora Box giving us... Pandora box. <laughs> That's I, true. Is I did Pandora? love. Yeah. I did love this. I don't know if it's All Stars Runway vibes, but I thought it was adorable. We've seen it a lot from her. Yeah. That's and I would wear that. So if I wear this, don't over. play this clip. And I like the how, tiny little suitcase. That matches. Her? Yeah. Yeah, We're that's her vibe. I'm seeing. Oh, I'm agreeing with okay, you. Okay. Okay. For All Stars Runway. Okay. She's fighting back. Yeah. No. I need to break her spirit a little bit. Finally, get strong. Up next, we had Raja Ooh. giving cute little bikini bottoms and. That body. The matching That stomach. Yeah, she's kind of tight. Yeah, the hair tight. was gorgeous. That, that twink. Really that horrible. damn twink. Yeah, obsessed. Up next, we had TKB. She said she was wearing $147,000 worth of feathers. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> how did she bring that how with her? I mean, she had it on loan. You know how, how like, when celebrities walk the red carpet and then Mr. Tiffany goes, do you want this diamond? That's what happened. I mean, if, you know what, if it's on loan, if this is part of some show and they're like, yeah, you can borrow that for a drink. She race. looks, she I looked mean, amazing. I love her in blonde. And that's the, the Beyonce hair, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, it yeah. might be, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, she looks good. She, and she told us, she's always telling stories on that runway. If that yeah. runway could talk. Oh, she did say, I've never been to Brazil, so I brought Brazil to the runway. And I'm like, I cannot wait for people to comment on her Twitter. Come to Brazil. Come to Brazil. Oh, she should. Up next, we had Eureka. And Eureka is giving beach ball bodysuit. It's cute. <laughs> I really liked it. I, liked I really it liked too. it, too. I really did liked it. Did you agree it. with Carson, though, about, like, I wish you hadn't done the pageant jewels. Like, I, I wish you had been Yeah, but I also feel like, I yeah, agree. I agree. I, agree. I would never have great. thought that until he said it, though. I never even noticed. Up next we had Gingerman. I love how she described this. She said it was J Lo Blanche. Oh. Blanche Devereaux. J J Levero or J J Levero or something. I don't yeah. know. But brilliant. I thought she looked incredible. Yeah. She looked beautiful. Yeah. Yards. I, didn't, I, I mean Actually, Emmy yes. Award winning he did say that it looked like it was kind of swallowing her up. I disagreed. I thought she looked incredible but I don't have an Emmy. And not swallowed. I barely have Emmy Jen. award winning wig wear. I need that hair. And then we had Kylie Ooh. wearing Ooh. Kylie doing Kylie. feather body. Kylie doing Kylie, which is, I always love seeing Kylie doing I Kylie. I know. It looks right? so right on Kylie. And her butt, her butt looks so good. And thank you for showing that. Green hair. She yeah. got Michelle Visage to say, I love this hair on you. Even yeah. though classically. Classically, she doesn't she like doesn't green. Like no. green. Yeah. Yeah, I it, love green. Kylie looks Green stunning. is a yeah. great color, so I don't understand why. I like green. You know what? I like green. I like green in this green. Oh! Uh, so, and that was the runway. Yeah, that was the runway. We find out the winner is, thank God, TKB. TKB. TKB, uh, officially the front runner now because she's got two, yeah. two wins. wins. Rightfully so, too, because her verse was great. She looked incredible. She took charge and choreographed everyone songs. else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was incredible. Congratulations. But that does make our bottom, unfortunately, Jan and Pandora. Mm -hmm. I. I'm not surprised. But it also feels like Jan could have done anything and she still would have been in the bottom. Because oh, that's yeah. What they're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and we just oh let go of Akira, who has just gone through that. And it was, uh, there was a part of me, I'm sorry, I'm very Team Jan, but there was a part of me that was like, can we just let her go? I need her to take a mental health break because you know what? Yeah. We, we all have, have mental, mental health. health. The lip sync was uh, bam! 
It was J Lo. Oh, it's Alexis Mateo. Oh, uh, oh, Alexis Alexis Mateo. Mateo. She banned right out. Bam. But oh my God, Trinity! Did, I yes. thought Trinity did such a great job. Oh. But Dancing Against Alexis Mateo yeah. is bum difficult. Yeah. She, she had a wig bum. fall out. It was the it wig. Was it was the wig thing that I think tipped yeah. it oh, in Alexis's favor. Because we all thought it was attached to her head, and so it was a lot for us to take in and like really figure out like what is drag? What does it even mean? You know, mm -hmm. when the wig came off. Mm -hmm. So Alexis wins. Cut to Pandora is going home. So sad. Wait, wait. Cut to we gotta send also chance. Chan. She has two it lipsticks. Was a tie. This has never happened before. This is stressful. And it was just a tie the week before with Jan. Remember? So boom, no, Trinity, you don't get ten thousand dollars, but you do have to send someone home. Trinity, you could see it. She oh. was like, at least I don't have to do this. And then fuck. Yeah. Not only do you not get the money, but you do have to do this. And she sent Jan. Home. And poor Jan, thinking she was okay for a second, and then not knowing, and right? then holding on to I hope. I rewatched the end of the episode Ooh. just to see her reaction to all of right? it. It was so, so awful. Sad. That is Drag is Race awful. trying to break her down. They know she's going home, and they're still like, there's a couple other ways we can destroy her from the inside and that was one of them but now she gets to go home to her hot boyfriend and he can destroy her from the inside but what if this from game the within inside. a game is something else oh yeah jan gets to DJ. burn down the studio yes that's, that's wait, wait wait what if the game within a game is that once they get down to the top four they bring everyone back and start all over oh my god i would funny. i would drown myself <laughs> goodbye jan that's two episodes of All Stars Down. We did it, ladies. I feel so proud of us. Ugh. I can't believe that happened. We absolutely did it. We killed it. That us was so incredible. Girls. Yes. So we will be back next week because now we're on schedule. So we'll be back next week with another episode of All Stars. And this one will be new. And you'll be like, oh my God, it's on time. And we'll be like, yeah, shut up. If you enjoyed this, you can, in fact, tip us directly. And I don't normally remind you of that. I hate talking about money. But you absolutely can. You can go to our Cash App, our Venmo, or our PayPal and just put for the girls. Thank you for all that you do. Darby, I missed your birthday. Alexis, do you even have a birthday? You can say that kind of stuff. Oh, we also have merch. Should I bring out what? the little posters? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. We've got stickers from... Oh, my God. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Wow. Look at these. Shot by wow. Adam. Graphics by Dylan. Whoa. Uh, you can purchase these at imhotheshow.com. TV monster. $25 each. Or for an extra 10 bucks, we'll autograph them. We'll write something dirty. Oh yeah. God. Chan, what if I ran out of walls? How can I still get something beautiful? Oh, if you want something a little smaller, we also have stickers. Oh my God. They're so cute. Was Look that at drawn them. by Paul Gray? This was drawn Paul by Paul Gray. Gray. Illustrations. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. So go to our website, imhotheshow.com for merch. Shippy. Limited supplies. Yes. And if you want even more of us, join us on our Patreon. We have exclusive content, a monthly live event, and much, much more. Imho the show dot com patreon let's get live let's get, get live. live buy some stickers and some posters join us on the patreon goodbye 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 bye 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 then you'll better go goodbye Bye.
Just me, Buckley, here, doing what I love to do best, eat. Don't mind me, though. I just heard you were 20, turning the big 21, so let me come over here, get a little closer and talk to you about this. Yeah, that's me, Buckley, my buddy Ralphie. Here's a birthday buff. But anyway, let's get back to the point. You like cows. I think that's cool. <laughs> you like cows with balls, playing balls, playing balls. I am ballless, just to let you know. But I don't play with balls that much anymore. I am a grown boy. My idea of fun is laying in the sun and hanging with Ralphie and eating and, uh, you know, occasionally uh, going out for a stroll. But yeah, I used to love balls. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. This comes to you from your queen. And again, a birthday bop for you. And happy, happy birthday.